Yo, what is up guys? This is your boy Legendary here and today people I'm going to be showing you a quick tutorial on how to build pretty much any character you want in Master Duel. Uh, unfortunately, I am in a new account for some reason. I actually was able to download Street Labs on my Mac so now we can do live streaming and all that other stuff. But for some reason when I connected it to my Konami ID, uh, it just started a new account for some reason so I'm gonna have to rebuild my decks from scratch But that's fine. It's kind of better for this tutorial anyway So when you start off the game as you guys can see here we get 1,000 free gems uh, And then uh, what we're gonna do is uh, the first thing is if you guys want to collect gems really fast Just go into the solo mode real quick right here uh, uh, you could fill out the absolute monarch and you could do the elemental lords to get some gems and, and some awards there go into dual strategy and go through this entire thing uh, i already did it in my other account but i haven't done it in this one but basically um with this you'll get uh, a free copy of raikeki so you play that and get get through that and you're good to go you get a free copy of monster reborn from here you get a free copy of marmoting captain you get a free copy of reinforcement of the army a uh, free copy of Destruction Jammer. Pretty much um, something to adjust the field or whatever it's called. Uh, and then for the goal, you get the little Sangan uh, pet and whatnot. And then from the practice, you get 600 gems for each of these practices. So six times four is 24. So you get 2,400 gems from just completing this whole thing plus all this. And then on top of that, what you have to do next is you have to go back to the main menu, go to uh, missions, and then you'll collect whatever gems that you have acquired. So missions is how you acquire gems very quickly. So as you can see, I already collected um, 1,200 in, in here. And then in unlimited missions, uh, I think I collected, I'm not really sure, uh, 500 gems right there. So uh, all together, that is 1570 gems from right there. Obviously, once I go through the solo missions, go through that whole thing, I'll gain 2400 plus whatever gems I get. These are gems that you'll get throughout you playing the game. So go through rank duels, go through the solo mode, and you'll just be unlocking gems little by little. Uh, I would highly recommend you guys do not just use up all your gems right away. Just just relax, calm down. Uh, don't just use them right away. Gather them up and then use your gems wisely. Um, next up, uh, we're going to go into the dual pass. So I already have the dual pass. This is pretty easy. Yeah, go to shop. So a dual pass, it's kind of hard to explain. There's just this long bio about it, but basically what it is, uh, it's 600 gems, and then for the next 71 days, uh, while you're playing the game, you slowly acquire a lot of these points, so you get gems, you get SR crafting points, you are uh, rare and normal crafting points, all that stuff, um, which is going to help you craft the cards that you need. I'll explain the crafting system right after, but uh, let's go to the shop and get this real quick. All right, so we're going to spend our 600 gems right here. So this will be good. You know, once you complete the dual pass, you basically, I believe, get your 600 gems right back along with, you know, a bunch of other stuff. But yeah, so there you go. We spent 600 on that. So while you're playing the game, we go through it. We get gems. We collect them and, you know, do what we got to do. Next up, we're going to go to the shop so the next thing i was going to recommend was the bundle deals but for some reason they're not here or maybe i'm not looking at the right place i, I already got the bundle deals in my other account uh this is a new account so they should be here but it's not here so maybe it was like a limited time thing uh basically it was 750 uh gems for a free copy of lightning storm and a free copy of solemn judgment those are two separate bundle packs and then each one comes with uh 10 10 packs of uh the master pack uh right over here so the master pack pretty much includes literally every card that's in the game right now well not every most of it six thousand over almost seven thousand cards are in here it literally includes just about almost anything that you can think of so it's pretty great but the problem is because there's so many cards in the card pool if you pull packs from here to try to get stuff that you need it's going to be very difficult uh, to do so because you're not going to get what you need because there's just so many cards so i wouldn't recommend necessarily going into that but if you have the bundle deals get the bundle deals uh and it'll give you those 10 free packs plus that free card uh not free because it's 750 gems but you know what i'm saying and then from there uh you'll unlock gate keys to open up secret packs so we're going to get into the secret packs uh in just a moment uh but there's also these other two packs this one is uh called stalwart force 
Um, it's a thousand gems uh, for ten packs and one hundred gems for one pack. And then, yeah, here we go. So yeah, it includes Speed Wars stuff, Galaxy, just different stuff like that. Um, there's not too much crazy stuff in here, but basically what this is, it'll open up gate keys for your secret packs. Secret packs is how you're going to be able to actually get the cards you need very quickly. And then if you go in here, you can get some blue eyes, Stardust, Firewall stuff, you know, uh, some classic uh, anime type cards right here. You get tuning and all that other stuff. So if you want to get, you know, build Yusei's deck, you can do that. Yusaku's deck, you can do that. Kaiba, all that other stuff. Uh, there's definitely a lot of Kaiba, Yusei, and Yusaku in here, which is pretty dope. So yeah. If you want those characters uh, cards, they're literally right here. This is all of them three, which is pretty cool. So you can invest in that if you want. But before you invest in that, I highly recommend you don't invest in that just yet. Uh, what you're going to do is um, after you've acquired uh, some gems and stuff like that and you went into the bundle deals and pulled off some master packs, I'm going to show you guys the crafting system. So um because that's gonna lead into the secret pack so i'm gonna show you guys an example of what that's like let me collect my gems so that way i can show you um what that's supposed to be like let me collect this you could say claim all awards at once and then voila 10,020, and then i'll collect my awards over here good next we're going to go into deck we are going to uh create a new deck and basically if you want to get any card in the game this is what you gotta do you just gotta have this selected here and let's click elemental hero i want to start by building off jaden's deck on this account so let's go do that we're gonna press search all right here are all the elemental heroes so now as you see um elemental hero neos is a ur if you do, if you click on that you can see down here it says cannot dismantle this because you don't own the card if it's grayed out that means you don't own it so let's say i wanted to add it in here uh right there uh in order to get elemental hero neos i need 30 ur crafting points right now i have zero because i literally just started the game uh, but once you open up several packs um then uh whatever urs or srs you got that you don't want or extra copies that you want or don't got or don't need you can get rid of for crafting points and basically what that is is so let's say you pull an SR from a pack that you don't want, you could give up that SR for 10 crafting points, 10 SR crafting points, uh, which means you need 30 in order to get any UR in the game, any UR at all. So you need to give up three SRs for one SR that you want. The same goes for URs, rares, and and, and uh, normals. So that, that works for any card. So we're gonna go into um, the shop, buy a few packs just so I can show you the secret pack stuff. Okay, so I'm going to spend my first thousand gems in here on this account. That way I could get some USA cards and all that other stuff. So let's go and spend, we'll spend 1,000 gems for right now. And then I'll show you the whole secret pack system. All right, so this is going to be our first 10 packs. Looks like we got the ones that are in gold uh, have a potential SR in it, I believe. And then obviously the one that's in rainbow is UR. So yeah, let's hop into it. All right, let's see what we get in our first pack. Okay, oh, so I can do it like that. Okay, Backup Rider, we got Flame Administrator, Sign Up, Backdoor, Justy Break, Blue Eyes Solid Dragon, so that's a Blue Eyes card, New Karibo, and Scrap Iron. Okay, so let's go to the next. Okay, never mind, I accidentally skipped everything. So as you guys can see here, I pulled Blue Eyes Alternative Dragon, sorry, I ruined that for you. Scrap Iron Scarecrow, that's good. We got Link Karibo, Dark Hole, very good stuff right there. So. Right here, these are the secret card packs. So because I pulled a UR Blue Eyes Alternate Dragon, it opens up a secret pack for the Blue Eyes Archetype, which you can use. It also opened up Scrap Iron Soldiers, Stardust Ties, and Soldiers of... I don't know what the rest of that word is. But uh, yeah, that that's for uh, Axis Code and the Link Monsters and whatnot. So you could either open it up here on the right side, or you can just go back to the shop and they'll all be available there for you. So let's go to Secret Pack, and there you go. These are all the ones here. So if you go to Stardust Ties, because you got a Stardust card that was an SRUR, now you can uh, have access to these Secret Packs. So if you go to Featured Cards right here, um, these are all the cards that come in this pack. So instead of going into the Master Pack and dumping all your gems in there, what you have to do is get the bundle deals or even just open up 10 packs of of either the master pack or one of the three packs in the shop and then get some SRs and URs that will unlock some secret packs and then whatever SR or UR cards that you don't want you can give up for crafting points and then once you do that 
you can go in to create a new deck and then search up the card you need, the SR UR that you need. And then once you get enough crafting points, you need 30 crafting points uh, in order to get whatever card that you want. It has to be of the same, you know, rarity though. And then you unlock a secret pack of that. So I'm gonna show you guys how that works. Uh, did I get anything that I didn't want? I'm not sure. But yeah, so this opened up a starters pack. This opened up Scrap Iron Soldiers. I'm just going to show you just so that way you guys have a, a very good idea of it. You see? Oh, right, because I pulled the Scrap Iron, so that showed up. So there you go. This was uh, some blue eye stuff. Yeah, look at that. All the, all the fancy blue eye stuff right there. Pretty cool. All right, so we're going to move on, and we're going to go to... All right, we're going to create new deck. Okay, so now that we're here, what we can do is we can set up criterias yes so these are all the criterias these are the filters that you can use so i'm gonna click on all sr and use ours so that way i can see what i got and what i want to give up uh what i'm willing to give up which uh i'm not willing to give up much here unfortunately because i need all these cards anyway but uh let's say i want well i actually don't want to give any of these cards up all right you know what let me let me go and get some more packs Okay, I'm going to get 10 more packs from the Master Pack. The The good thing with the Master Pack is because you get random cards, it, you might be better off going into the Master Pack just to get random SRs and user, URs that you don't want so you can craft. So that's the one benefit of the Master Pack. You could not have to worry about what you get from there and just scrap them. Obviously, since I pulled from Revival of Legends, I'm going to keep the cards that I get. So that was a stupid idea of me. So don't do that. Go into the Master Pack specifically so you get URs and SRs that you don't want. Sometimes in these other packs here you could pull uh cards that aren't from this set because four of the cards in the set are guaranteed to be from that set and then the other cards that you pull are from random sets so you never know what you're going to get for those other three cards but i'm going to pull 10 more from the master pack all right so i'm just going to skip this okay cool okay so we got we got some stuff here so definitely from here okay we opened up the gimmick puppet secret pack and some other secret packs here so we definitely pulled some cards that i don't want or need like the infernoble knights and stuff like that this i don't need solo charge i won't need all that car all those cards that i don't really care about i'm gonna scrap so i'm gonna show you guys how to scrap them right now and then um i'll show you how to craft all right, so I'm going to go to my filter. I'm going to select SR and UR so I can only see the SR and URs that I own. Okay, so this is what you got to do here. Uh, obviously, I have a small selection right now, so it doesn't really matter. But uh, you see for this Infernoble card, you can dismantle for 10 SR crafting points. So I'm going to dismantle that for 10. Uh, if you go to the top right screen here, you could dismantle uh, all extra cards, which I already think I stated in the video, which means... Uh, if you have more than three copies of a card, it'll get rid of all the extra copies and only leave three, so you can do that. And then for Dismantle Selected Cards, it goes into whatever card you own, and I'll put those three in there. Solar Charge, uh, what is this? Evil Eye, I'll put that away. This is uh, Aliens, I don't need that. Uh, and then we didn't pull any UR stuff, so that's fine, uh, but I'll just show you as an example. And this Xyz Monster to level five, Earth Machine. I'll give this up right now because I don't really need it. So this is three cards. Uh, this is six cards. So I'll get 10 for each, which will be 60 crafting points, which means I can get two SRs. So I'm going to dismantle these. See, I'm going to get 60. So on the top right, you see I have 60 right there. So now I'm going to show you an example of how to get a card. So let's go for Elemental Hero. All right, so let's get an SR here from the Elemental Hero pack. So let's go for emergency call let's start with emergency call start with emergency call i'll generate for 30 generate good good so now you see that that's shown here that's the key so now you unlock the secret pack for the elemental heroes and now that's giving me one free pack so let's just open it for fun purchase all right let's see what we got here we got Flame, Earthbound, Zale, uh, a Zale Weapon, we got Hero Blast, we got Sparkman, Favorite Hero, okay, and Miracle Fusion, alright, there we go. So that's our first free pack there, I don't have enough gems to go into 10 packs, but uh, these are all the cards that come in the heroes, in this hero set, there's multiple hero sets, there's a Neos one too, so keep that in mind, they're, they're, they're spread out in different packs, so this is all the ones that come in this specific pack. So if you get Elemental Hero Neos uh, as a UR and you craft it, you'll open up the Neos uh, pack. 
and, and all that stuff that comes with a bunch of Neo fusions and all that other stuff. But yeah, so uh, that's pretty much how you craft right there. It's very simple. You just need uh, 30 crafting points for that rarity uh, to give up for any one uh, SR or UR that you get. And then you open up a secret pack uh, for the SR UR. So if you don't pull it in a pack, the card that you want to open up the secret pack for the Artet that you want, it doesn't matter. Uh, just make sure that uh, you craft whatever card you want um, and then you're good to go. You open up that secret pack, then you invest all your gems in that secret pack. And that's pretty much it. That's how secret, the secret pack is how you're going to get exactly what you need. So that's how you build any character deck you want. Um, I'm going to have to grind for gems right now and uh, build Jaden's deck in this account. But uh, I just wanted to show you guys how it's done. If you're confused about anything, let me know. I'm sorry if I didn't explain it too well. I don't know why. It's just a lot of different things to explain. Uh, I'm going to try to condense this into a very short video. But anyway, guys, I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Download Master today. Get your gems. Go through the solo mode. Um, get as many gems as possible. Go into your missions to collect whatever gems you acquired. Get the dual pass. And then go into create a new deck. Look up the cards that you want. Buy some packs. Scrap the cards that the SRs and URs and rares and whatever cards that you don't want for points. Use 30 points to get any uh, one SR or UR, whatever that you want. That also works for normals and rares as well. So it is what it is. And yeah, guys, thank you guys for watching. Have fun with Master Duel. Uh, I'm going to be doing a stream maybe later tonight or sometime uh, during the day. I'm not sure. Or sometime during next week. But thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. God bless you guys. See you guys in the next video. Gotcha. Peace.